Hello, welcome to Unity of the Traveling Hoop. I'm going to show you how to um, package your levy wand for shipment. Um, and you're just going to have to start with a few simple things. Uh, some brown paper or garbage bag, uh, bubble wrap and the wand, some tape and scissors. Um, and as you can see, I have all of my items right here. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is take your bubble wrap and you just need a few sheets. You fold them up and then you're just going to take your scissors and cut all the way through and make some strips to go around the wand just to kind of protect the tape on it. Um, and protect the the wand as well, being a lot of your levy wands are wood and the UPS or US post office is not always um, most gentle with our products. So after you get done cutting um, your bubble wrap, you're just going to simply take the wand, start at one end. And wrap the hoop with the bubble, or the, I'm sorry, the levy wand with the bubble wrap. And I'm just going down in a little spiral. Um, it's almost one whole thing that I cut is almost finishing it. So I'm probably just going to need two strips um, on the wand. And then once I finish with the bubble wrap, I'm going to take my brown paper bag and do the exact same thing. And I'll, I'll show you how you can cut it um, to really help you get these little thin strips that we're looking for. So after I get that, I'm just going to take some tape and tape the bubble wrap down. And we have our bubble wrapped levy wand. Then you can take your paper bag if you have one or a roll of brown paper you can get at the dollar store for a dollar. Um, and just cut slits going across the top about an, two inches. And again, you'll probably only need two to three of these. Um, you do want to make sure with this that you're really covering the wand because this is going to be your outside shipping um, material that you actually label the package with. And if you go on to Unity under Files, I made a document for everybody to show you how you can use Click and Ship right from home and send your wand right from your house or your hoop or whatever project you have, uh, flow object. So I'm gonna just take the, the brown paper, put it over the top of the wand, and tape it down. And then I'm gonna just kind of fold in the sides up top and do the same thing and start my paper wrapping. And then what I'll do when I'm done with this is actually grab my packing tape and really seal this up. But I'm just spiraling it down just like I did the bubble wrap and like I do when I tape. And really getting a nice, um, so it's nice and it won't come apart easily. So, again, this will only take, if you have the garbage bag and you cut it like I did, should only take about one and a half strips, maybe. Um, two at the most, depending how you're sealing it up. So, I'm going to take this, finish taping this up. And again, when I get to the bottom, I want to make sure that 
I fold it in and over to get that um, end cap sealed off, which is really important so the wand doesn't fall out of the end in shipment. Um, again, like I said, you, you, you United States Post Office and UPS um, have no mercy for our packages. They don't care what's in them, I don't think. I don't know. Um, so there we have it. The Levy Wand is prepared for shipment. Um, it's going to be really light. You're not going to pay much for shipping, um, except we are doing a, a two-day priority. But I'm going to um, go ahead and make the shipping label for my first person, and I'll let you know how much it costs to send it.